This is a fantastic outcome for the Fraser Coast to have an interest game here at Estale Park in Maribor. This is the historic home of rugby league on, for this area of Queensland, for the Fraser Coast. So to have an interest game here, a round 15 of the interest competition, to have our team, the Winner Manly Seagulls, taking on the Papua New Guinea Hunters, will be a great show for the, our region. You bring people to the region and inspire our young footballers. One of our priorities as a council is to ensure that as a region we get opportunities sporting, arts, culture opportunities that people in big cities take for granted, particularly for children. So children can come here and see the very top elite rugby league players in the state competing. We want to ensure that whether a child is interested in the cello, rugby league, swimming, running, mathematics, science, physics, that they get opportunities on the Fraser Coast to help them achieve their full potential. So there'll be young kids, boys and girls that are coming today who will be inspired and end up playing for the Brisbane Broncos. We want to ensure that this has a very broad participation. This will be a fantastic game on July 31st. These two teams are right at the top of the ladder. They're the top teams in this league, the top league in Queensland. So it'll be a fantastic game. It'll be a great opportunity for ro local rugby league fans and people who want to see top level sport here on the Fraser Coast. Yeah, for us, um, at the Intra Super Cup level, uh, particularly at a club like Winning Manly, the community is so important um, and that's why um, for us, we're, we're deeply engaged with all the communities that we're in in the Wynnum Manly and Bayside area uh, and also up here on the Fraser Coast. Um, that's where our fans come from, that's where our players come from and that's where our sponsors and partners come from. So it's essential that we're working closely with communities and uh, supporting them um, and then giving them every opportunity. Um, and and this, uh, this match um, on the 31st of July is, is another wonderful opportunity. We have a partnership with uh, the Fraser Coast Regional Council and we've also had a long-term partnership with Deadly Choices and, um, and those partnerships have allowed us to uh, work closely with the community, um, provide uh, not only opportunities in rugby league but also um, providing positive messages around social issue, issues and things like that. So um, we're really excited um, that even though last year with, with COVID it was a bit of a false start, but this year is the first of three years that we get to work up here in the region and uh, support the communities on the Fraser Coast. In Gallingal, with in partnership with Deadly Choices itself, uh, do quite a few community activities. Um, and having Winnie Manly up here inspires our young kids that are uh, here playing rugby league to go to the next level and look at the next level. But also it gives them an opportunity to meet some of the players as well that they never get the chance to meet. It's, it's good for us. Um, having these partnerships always works um, in, in favour of promoting good health. And again, you know, it supports um, our communities living, um, living a healthier lifestyle um, and, and coming off the back end of COVID. Um, it's promoting them again getting out and becoming active and enjoying life. Last year, it was around this time, we announced that we would have the Intrust Cup Games uh, for three years. Unfortunately, they were um, cancelled due to COVID, but it's great this year that it, it's back. We've been really busy, uh, you know, in the rebuilding stage this year from, from uh, the smaller clubs, getting the juniors registered and getting going. Development um, is key in our regional areas and anyone that's aspiring or looking for a pathway it has certainly given us that something that we lacked uh, in previous years so Wynnum um, even though there is a little bit of distance there they they have you know really given us the opportunity of having that next level of coaching come up um, again last year we didn't have that opportunity with the kids but later in the year I'm sure that we'll um, have quite a few days happening.